<sighs> Hope you enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Solomon asking my latest review. Who are on Dragon Ball Super episode 75, you know. Now, this is about Goku, you know, having a training partner, you know, and trying to train. Now, he can't do it with Whis because he, he, Beerus, and apparently the Kai's are going to some kind of summit. Apparently, it's going to be, a, it's going to have something to do with the whole Universal Survival arc, you know. Oh, that's, you know, that's later in the future episodes, you know. But Vegeta can't train with him either. He doesn't know what's going on, you know. No, he just, you know, so if he doesn't want to train with Goku, you know. Because uh, he wants to get stronger than Goku, so he doesn't want to let Goku know what he's doing, you know. Uh, now, right now he's training, he's using his energy to plow through the field because the tractor is, um, Chi Chi, it was Chi Chi's idea, you know, to have him train, but at the same time do his job, you know. Uh, you know, just to, you know, you know, get things going, like, but, but Goku, you know, he's bored, he wants an actual opponent to fight, you know. Oh, uh, you know, how's Goten when he tries to volunteer? Chi Chi's like, hell no, you're not doing it. She doesn't want her son to become a freak that does nothing but fight all day, you know. She, that's her biggest, that worst nightmare, to have another Goku or running around doing nothing like, doing nothing but fighting and no work and never making money all day. She doesn't want that for her sons. Now, nah, I mean, she did, I mean, she had Gohan study all her, probably most of his life, you know, now. Uh, she doesn't want to. She wants to do the same thing to Gohan. You know, no mar no fighting in martial arts. You know how Gohan. You know he he does this. You know he 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 becomes Goku's training partner for a bit. You know he even plays the Great Saiyan Man persona, and he does that well. He does that very well. Uh, however, Goku calls him, and he knows it's Gohan, but he doesn't. You know he doesn't lose. Doesn't you know uh, drop character? You know he does the best he could. You know he uh, he focuses on what's important. You know. He becomes great Saiyan Man, and yeah, he and Goku, you know, they eventually do do it. They spar. How they spar so hard that they crack the field and to fall apart. You know, Chi Chi gets furious because he's destroying everything around him. You know, one of the things Goku, who is best at, he always gets Chi Chi mad at him just for being himself. You know, that is one battle Goku would never win. And that's just co calling Piccolo from the dub from the original Dragon Ball Z. You know, that's one battle Goku would never win. You know, that's true. Oh, so, uh, so Goku, you know, he's trying to figure out what to do next, so he goes out and he finds Krillin. We get to see Krillin, you know, he's on this high pursuit chase, and he's chasing this bank, uh, these burglars, you know, how he gets shot, I mean, he literally gets shot, he gets wounded, and we get to see blood. It's been a while since we've seen he a lot, some blood, you know, oh, in DBZ, you know, oh, in, in Super too. you know, it's been a while since we got to see that, but now, they, you know, it's kind of... Oh, really, you know, shocking, you know, it's obvious that Krillin has gone down his training, he's weighing on it, it's kind of like how Gohan was uh, when they were getting ready for the whole Majin Buu arc, you know, he wait, he stopped his training, you know, after, after Goku, after Goku was dead and Sun was defeated, he stopped his training, his training waned, he was one so strong, he surpassed even his father, but after the set, his decline and stopped training, maybe, and, you know, he became much weaker, but eventually he got to become strong again because of uh, Supreme Kai's training with the Z sword and all that stuff, you know. That's something you got to consider, you know. You know, this is what I really enjoy, you know, because well, of the story and character development, you know. Uh, eventually, Goku, he shows up, you know, he get uh, he stops the bad guys, spends the gun, and, and they go to Krillin's home. He asked him to train with him, but, uh, but you know, Krillin's like, he doesn't want to, you know, he's just... Like what he is, but however, you know, things get. He starts to change his mind after what ha after his family hears what happened. Like for example, eighteen says you're not the same man that and I thought I married. You know, basically saying that you're not as strong as you used to. And then there's his daughter, and she she wants a strong father. You know, uh, I mean, it's obviously that Krillin cares a lot for his family, and he doesn't want his family to feel disappointed. But when his wife. Life 18, you know, calls says that to him, you know, he, and his daughter wants him to become way stronger than he was. Man, you know, he's definitely going to do that because he wants to make his family proud of him, you know. It's obviously 18 is way stronger than him. And, and this is and this is what a lot of Dragon Ball Z fans know, that he, and that she's become a, a housewife. And it's, and it's probably way stronger than Krillin, yet she's not doing much, you know. That's one of the biggest complaints that they have about uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super right now. Uh, in general, for having 18 as a character, like she, they want a badass girl who kicked the ass out of Goku about Vegeta and Trunks at one point, and now she's like reduced to a housewife. But enough about that later. Uh, and Krillin, you know, he he's determined, you know, to uh, to get back to his roots, you know, to be to become stronger. But so, 
Uh, but he doesn't want to be a martial artist again. He just want to uh, do his best to become strong, so he can become a good cop. You know, and help people. You know, he wants to be a good. He's a good person. You know, so it, so they go to Master Roshi used to train. He they ask that Roshi to train him, and he does. How he bribes him, you know, with the girly magazine. It's kind of like last time when he first did Master Roshi. Uh, and Goku remembered that, and he got bonked on the head for it. It's obvious, Goku has a good memory. It's obvious, it's, I know he's not a, what you call a genius, but he does remember certain things, especially when he knows it's important, like, uh, you know, but he's not, not too smart. That's something you gotta know. Uh, eventually, you know, they eventually train how Goku wears this suit, this turtle suit, and it makes him look ridiculous. And how could they just trust him a little bit in the training, because, you know, he's... He, you know, can use Super Saiyan at will, and that will, and that will greatly amplify his power a hundredfold. If, if he goes Super Saiyan, he'll obviously be Krillin, you know. They trade for a little bit, Roshi makes him stop, you know. Uh, it's obvious you can see he that Krillin has definitely weighed down. He starts sweating, while Goku, it, it looks like he didn't break a sweat or anything like that. Uh, it's obviously Roshi can obviously tell there's a big difference in, in, in his result. Like, he even confronts Krillin about it. And about his confidence, you know, uh, it, it's obviously weighing on him. And like, there's so many people that are way stronger than he is in the story, you know. And and Krillin, he's probably feeling a bit depressed because he's because he's unable to catch up with uh, with most of the characters. Like for example, his best friend is literally the strongest man in the world. Uh, he battled a god and got a, and didn't exactly won, but he has to walk away with his life, you know. Um, you know, and it's and he's also faced so many enemies, you know. Well, it's definitely going to be, it's going to be going to be hard to keep up with him now. But how are Roshi master reinvigorate him and have, and do a special errand? He and Goku are going to a certain island look for something called the Paradise Herb. Um, you know, it's apparently an errand for Roshi. How Roshi bribes them at first with the girly magazines again. Master Roshi's a huge pervert. We, you guys, for, I didn't know. You know, you guys forgot. You know, he's a huge pervert in the series. You know, uh, especially if you watch. Uh, it's the uncut version of Dragon Ball instead of the the cut version by Funimation released on TV. You know, uh, he br he bribes them first with the girly magazine, but instead he says he's gonna bribe them. He's gonna bribe them with something and that makes him eat and amplifies the energy that makes him even stronger. You know, uh, he, yeah, obviously they believe it and they go for it. This is obviously a trick, a test to test as their fortitude as warriors and their training. When they reach the island, they meet Fortune Teller Baba. You know, Goku gets her name wrong. Like she sends into this cave. It kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball in a way, because of the art style, the cave. And they go into this deep forest thing. It's very dark, you know. Uh, they, it's a bit spooky. How and they, they feel this chill in the air, but then things start hard to go wrong. As things start manifesting out of nowhere, and it start taking the form of their dead enemies. Enemies. They, uh, we get to see you know, Nappa, uh, the the Ginyu Force, Demon King Piccolo, oh Bui that. That demon servant of King Piccolo that killed Krillin back in Dragon Ball. Uh, all kinds of enemies, even old school Vegeta back when he first came out, you know. Apparently they gotta face some of their old enemies, including Frieza and Cell, you know. Uh, Krillin, this is probably gonna be a big test for Krillin, because he has to face, he's literally, he, his confidence, because he has to face all these tough opponents. And some of them are opponents that Goku, when his friends managed to beat, but never him, you know. He never actually beat any of these guys, you know, in a straight up fight, you know. Uh, so this is gonna be a big test for Krillin, you know, to see if he still got the warrior spirit. Anyway, that's all I gotta say, Home of Joy. This was a good episode. I liked it, you know, even though it's basically filler, but I enjoyed these episodes. Anyway, that's all I gotta say, Home of Joy. Right, thanks for the comments, guys. Thank you to this one. I'm Gamers Latest Review. You want Dragon Ball Super, episode 75. I'm out. Peace. Bye.